really a great honor. Anytime when I can follow in the footsteps of Rhonda Buckner and Chris McLaughlin, it is, then I know it's a big honor. Um, as Leah mentioned, my call to LGBT advocacy came after our older daughter Claire came out when she was a senior in high school 10 years ago. So this is her 10 year anniversary party. So look, we're all here to celebrate. Since that day, I've been on a journey. As someone who is straight and cisgender, I'm grateful to all those who have shared their stories and welcomed me and guided me. This journey has been about partnership. It was Gerda and Alan Keysweater and Bill Briggs from Metro DC PFLAG who pushed us out of the nest and invited us to walk in our first Pride Parade. And in fact, Gerda and Bill Briggs are holding down the fort right now because this very moment is the PFLAG, Arlington PFLAG Community Group meeting. I have the night off tonight. Rhonda and I co-created the Equality Committee at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Arlington with other members and friends and honorary Unitarians like Chris and the support of the clergy. Over the years, we've hosted LGBT youth gatherings, provided dinners for LGBTQ youth, LGBT asylum seekers. We held a New Orleans-style jazz funeral for Don't Ask, Don't Tell brought a photo exhibit about LGBT families to the Arlington Central Library and faith communities throughout Northern Virginia. And this year we planted a ring of rainbow flags around UUCA during Pride Week. I'm grateful for the vision and leadership of those who founded People of Faith for Equality in Virginia, as well as the leadership and vision of Paula Prettyman and Kelly Schlageter, Melissa Capers, and Rhonda for starting our Northern Virginia Network. We now have 56 Northern Virginia congregations that have labeled themselves welcoming congregations. And last January, we sent a letter with 100 clergy signatures to the General Assembly affirming LGBT lives. It is also, of course, a great honor to serve on the board of Equality Virginia, our statewide organization working for LGBT advocacy. It takes all of us, and I am delighted to speak at any moment, any time, about the work of Equality Virginia. I am most grateful to our daughter Claire for her courage, to our daughter Margaret for her steadfast support of her sister, I'm grateful to our church, the Unitarian Universalist Church of Arlington, for being a faith community where our daughters grew up knowing they were whole and healthy and beloved. I'm most grateful to my husband, Bill, for being my partner in parenting and in life. Our family connected with Agla when Claire was awarded an Agla scholarship that year she came out. She is long out of college, but we are still grateful not just for the scholarship, but also for the courageous and constant leadership of those who are out in Arlington and who have worked for so long and so steadily to make this a more welcoming and inclusive community. Thank you.